What's up, everybody? <laughs> Today, me and Julian Hello. is my youngest son. We're gonna attempt to do something I've been wanting to learn for a while. We're gonna learn how to gill taco fish. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought basic stuff. I didn't want to invest in just you know buying better paints and whatnot just yet because of course I want to get my hands wet before I fully commit. All right. So first off, we're at the dining room table. Just putting down some newspaper. We have plastic on the table, but let's put some newspaper for even easier cleanup. I couldn't find all my old paint brushes. Which is weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna assume someone that I let borrow it didn't put it back where it should have been. So I had to go down the longs and uh, pick up some generic. Whose fucking cup is this? Dump it. Put this shit in the sink. Fucking thing is all warm, just water. I had to get some generic paint brushes, but of course we're just, like I said, getting our feet wet or our hands wet. And um, basically just trying to learn, right? Like see how, what goes, how, what goes, and what, 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 and what not. Um, I do have some rice paper. I don't know what the rice um, is. Of course, I know there's different brands and different types, but I just basically ordered some uh, basic um, rice paper, I guess, in general. Is for Sumi and Oriental painting. If you guys know what Sumi is, it's like type of ink uh, for drawing, calligraphy, block printing, watercolors. So basically, this is good stuff. Um, you know, to, to learn with, to start off with. Uh, 12 inch by 50 foot row. So I do have more than enough for us to learn here. I do have two towels sitting in my fridge that. I was gonna eat, but now it's been several days, so I don't think I wanna eat it anymore. Um, I'm sure it's still good. The eyes aren't all, you know, uh, white, cloudy, whatever, but we're just gonna use them for the experiment. Yeah, I know, I sh you know, why take the fish if you weren't gonna eat it? Well, for one, it's tall. They're invasive, they're abundant. There's no legalities on keeping or putting it back or whatever because they're invasive so we're actually encouraged to kill them anyway um just like roy if you guys if you don't know what roy is this panther grouper believe in that right right panther grouper anyway moving on all right so there's two sides to this paper one smooth one is textured i i assume i could use either side but i think i'm gonna choose to use the textured side because it seems like the way they rolled rolled it up the way they rolled it up is the textures on the inside so i assume to protect it now like i said i only have little toe owls so we don't need a whole lot of paper i just i can't find a scissors so i'm just gonna cut some pieces here all right so we got our fish dried them up so i can't do this without a tripod how am I supposed to work on this? I'm trying to hold the phone. All right, so <laughs> we attempted our first little print. Um, I'm sure there's different techniques and whatnot to it, but I feel like it's not too bad. Here's mine. That's off of that fish. I tried to get his fins I messed up. That's my son's fish and that's his print. <laughs> all right guys so i talked too fast um yeah i guess compared to someone that doesn't have any art skill or experience in painting or anything would probably have done a lot worse than this um i also didn't let this dry before going in for the colors so that probably made a big mistake also but i feel like for my first time ever trying it's not too bad because it could have been way worse <laughs> <laughs> oh man i did like okay around here area and then that just oh man i think uh, i had too much ink on this fin here it should have been really light so that was more yellow that showed instead of the black 
The tail seemed to be okay, but a lot of the ink bled because my paper was still wet. So, and again, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to use the other side of the paper instead of the textured side. I gotta go look that up. I've never, I watched videos, I watched videos and, um, nobody really talked about coloring, right? And of course with a towel, I'll try to do the color because, you know, they're red and yellow. But I should have just stuck with the black and black, black because it was pretty cool when it was just black. <laughs> um, here's my son working on his. I don't know what he what he did to his tail there, but at least he got a good eye, Greg. Yeah, but this one's your fish. You're supposed to be copying the small one. But that's okay, it's your first time. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so I, I, I believe a bigger fish would be a lot easier. Um, I think when I do catch something bigger that I could try this with, with again, I'll definitely, um, well, it'd have to be the size of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely let it dry in between. Maybe take a hair dryer to it just to kind of like dry it all up before putting on any other colors or whatever, but. I think I'm gonna just try to stick to the black print, black. I guess you would call it black and gray. Um, I think with that, it's just kind of getting the dabbing right, because even that was a little tricky. I tried to dab it with the paper towel, and it seemed like it maybe it took off too much paint, too much ink. Um, and then we tried dabbing it with the sponge brush, which seemed to work okay because it kind of did help spread it out evenly. But there's still blotchiness, you know dots a lot of dots whatever but good experience i'm gonna have to just keep doing this um i it's i think a bigger fish would be a lot easier um so we're gonna find out but anyway yeah uh that concludes this video